John Paul II will be beatified on May 1st, which this year is Divine Mercy Sunday. It's also the same liturgical feast day on which the Pope passed away. It's a celebration closely linked to Poland, John Paul's pontificate, and the devotion he had to Sister Faustina Kowalska, who began spreading devotion to Divine Mercy. John Paul II grew up with the spirituality of St. Faustina Kowalska. Throughout his pontificate, he explained the need to invoke Divine Mercy. John Paul II said Divine Mercy was the key to his pontificate. In fact, John Paul II officially established the devotion to Divine Mercy for the entire Church during the canonization of Sister Faustina Kowalska. In 2000, John Paul II canonized Sister Faustina, who was the first saint of the Jubilee. During her canonization, he stated that from now on, this Sunday will be called Divine Mercy. And from then on, the devotion began to spread in a surprising way, especially among the laity. Just down the road from the Vatican, in the Church of Santo Spirito in Sassia, is the Shrine of Divine Mercy in Rome. There, faithful and various visitors gather every day of the year to pray the Litany of Divine Mercy. It's a prayer that is recited at three in the afternoon to ask God for salvation in the world by appealing to Divine Mercy. Three in the afternoon is the hour that Jesus died. This comes from one of the apparitions that Sister Faustina saw. The Lord asked her to meditate every day at that time of his passion, which is the aim of this worship. To prepare for the beatification of John Paul II, Benedict XVI wanted the Litany of Divine Mercy to be prayed in St. Peter's Square before the ceremony began. It stands as a sign of the importance of this devotion in the life of blessed John Paul II.